Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you all very much for coming this morning. Father Brendan, our office is going to lead us in some prayers. Afterwards, then we'll move on to St. Declan's for the burial, and Father Brendan is going to come with us as well to bless the grave, and then we'll do the entire thing. Thank you for the microphone, Terry. Good morning to you all. You're very welcome. And uh, I want to welcome especially um, Dennis's son and daughter, Stephen and Anne, who are in Australia. Um, and they're very welcome here today. And we're praying today, this morning, for the repose of the soul of Dennis Ward uh, of 56 Alderbrook, Ashburn. We pray, ask our Lord for, for, that the Lord will have mercy on his soul and grant him his peace and love. And we ask God for grace for each one of us here today. Just, Lord, will console us at this time. Begin now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we have the blessing now, uh, the body, and with holy water. Let this water call to mind our baptism into Christ, who by his death and resurrection has redeemed us. And the response to the psalm is, I hope in the Lord, I trust in his word. I hope in the Lord, and I trust in his word. <clears throat> Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. Response, I hope in the Lord, I trust in his word. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who could survive but with you is found forgiveness. For this, we rear you. Response, I hope in the Lord. I trust in his word. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchman for daybreak. I hope in the Lord. I trust in his word. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all of its iniquity. I hope in the Lord, I trust in his word. But God, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. We pray together then to our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> we just pray now in silence. Saints of God, 
We the response is receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God uh, the Most High. God of faithfulness, in your wisdom you have called your servant out of this world. Release him now from the bonds of sin and welcome him into your presence so that he may enjoy eternal light and peace and may be raised up in glory with all your saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And may his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bow down your heads for the blessing. <clears throat> May Almighty God <clears throat> bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Please let us take our brother Dennis to his place of rest. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maybe order you want to say a few words. Okay. My name is Audrey, the daughter-in-law of Dennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of you know him as Dennis, but to us he was simply known as Ted. And Grandad Ted. Yeah. <clears throat> Ted was born in 1936. I can see some of you doing the maths there. Um, and he lived for most part free of health issues. He worked as a hospital porter for the majority of his working life and moved from Jerba Street Hospital to Beaumont Hospital where he worked till he retired. He wore two watches and the reason for that, he said, was to give him more time. Uh, Ted was a man of strong faith and he had great faith in the Sacred Heart. He loved a good Western and at one stage he wore out a videotape of the quiet man he watched it that much. He also enjoyed a game of pitch and putt with Jerry, a friend of his. He enjoyed a good breakfast, and right up until Christmas, he would make his way to the cafe to have his breakfast, washed down with a cappuccino and a whipped cream. His favourite snack was a hang sandwich. He never lost his country accent. His granddaughters were once asked in school, what do granddads do? And they replied, they eat porridge with honey, and they say, kept them well. That was a favourite word of his. There's a few people here we'd like to thank today. The wonderful team in Beaumont Hospital, who cared for Ted in his last couple of weeks, especially Twinkle, a nurse who was so kind to Dennis. Dennis, his son, said, you really are a little star. His GP, Dr Gillen, a Beaumont Hospital chaplain called Father Michael Ward, no relation, 
His kindness will stay with us forever. To Father Brendan for his kind words today, to Mick Ryan and his team for all the help in guiding us through this difficult day. His neighbours who had only kind words to say about him. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here today to support us. <coughs> And to those who couldn't be here, but are joining us on video link. To Ted's brothers and sisters. To Anna, for always thinking of him. Your Christmas card was the first he, he received, and they always shared that with us. <clears throat> to our friends, um, who were always there for us. To our children and grandchildren. For all the hugs. To Gavin. Jason, Vicky, Laura, Pat, Debbie, thank you. To his great grandchildren, he had seven of them, the magnificent seven we called them. Ben was the firstborn, Tara was the last. Ted loved his grandchildren, and his little place, as he called it, was full of photos of them. He had lots of photos of his grandchildren. Some of his last words when he saw a video of his grandchildren, Niall and Neve from Australia. Dennis showed him the video and he said, ah, oh, that's lovely. They called him Grandad Ward. They always sent him cards, little personal messages, little videos, and he treasured them. He also asked Dennis to get him a few cans. He said, you may as well at this stage. And finally, to Dennis, <clears throat> and you never left Ted's side in those final days. <laughs> You're the true meaning of a wee man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, after the burial in the Ashburn Cemetery out the road, we're going to the Pilo Hotel for refreshments, and we'd like everyone to join us. <laughs> We're keeping everything on the one road. We don't want anyone taking a wrong turn. <laughs> okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So thank you, Audrey, for your kind words. Um, you know, it's very fitting. Uh, the words she said there, uh, you know, for Dennis. And, you know, when we somebody departs this life, um, Part of our faith, our Catholic faith, is that we believe that there's an afterlife, that God loves us, and that you know He never forgets us. He always, He always, He's here for us today, just to console us and comfort us. But you know, He says, whenever, when you just remember that there's life after death. There's when we try to do our best to live a good Catholic life, God always rewards us, and we will see our loved ones again. If we try our best to be, follow God, then. We, we will be reunited one day with our loved ones for all those who have gone before us. We pray then that the Lord will grant eternal rest to Dennis today. And we thank God uh, for Dennis, for, his, for all the kindness he showed to his grandchildren and for his family and for all his neighbours. We thank him for that. Each one of us can, in our own ways, contribute to you know, make life better for everyone. And we thank Dennis for all he's done in his life. We finish then, we just take a moment just after we finish here just to pay our respects and then we go on in a few moments to the uh, St. Declan's graveyard then. Thank you. Amen. <coughs>
She 